what is happening in the international economy in terms of development thought and in terms of what to expect in the future. The first thing is that if you look out for the next few years, world economy is slowing down. Productivity is falling. What does that mean for a country like Pakistan? You can't rely on a very buoyant world economy which will take us with us. First thing we should remember, world economy is slowing down. Not just this year, next year, but the next five years. Second thing, interest rates are now all-time high in the US. Most people think that in the next two, three, four years, interest rates will remain high. higher for longer so you know we've got very used to cheap money for the last many many years interest rates were running at close to zero now why does that matter to us because when interest rates are high all the debt that we like and you know pakistan is a country that likes to borrow then the cost of borrowing becomes higher and the second thing that happens is that the investments we need to make become less profitable if you borrow money for part of your investment then it becomes less profitable country like pakistan goes and says mai ji aapko 5% interest dunga dollar par so a lot of investors who are sitting on assets they are getting 1% or less than 1% wo kehte hain theek hai yaar thodi si risk leke let's put it in pakistan today in the us i can invest in a t bill us government t bill and get 5% so if a country like pakistan comes and says we'll give you 7% you know people say well, i got 5% yaar kafi hai third thing i want to say is everyone feels ke looking ahead the economy in which we live the world in which we live is going to be a world in which there are going to be shocks more often more frequent deeper shocks let's look back nobody knew covid was coming nobody knew that russia would invade ukraine price of food would go up price of energy would go up we were in marrakesh and nobody knew that the israel gaza war would start so there are shocks that are coming and i think we don't know what the next shock will be but i am confident that in our lifetime certainly in your lifetime there will be another pandemic like covid so there will be shocks that will come so what does that mean for a country it means that we have to become more resilient to shocks and the international system also has to become more resilient to shocks So I would say these are the three big takeaways that I took about the world economy and where it's going. Global environment is very difficult for countries like Pakistan. It is difficult to borrow, and you know how much we are thinking about borrowing. We have seen that there are about 80 billion per year for the next three years for the world. If we take it from the world, then it will be very difficult to borrow. Number two, we have the interest rate that we are talking about. It will become more and more expensive. So what will we do? It will become more and more expensive. So what will we do? तो ये बताइए जो ग्लोबल थिंकिंग में पॉलिसी मैनेजमेंट पे डेवलपमेंट पे उसमें क्या नई चीजें आ रही है वेन यू लुक बैक थर्टी फोर्टी ईयर्स आर थिंकिंग अबाउट डेवलपमेंट वॉज क्वाइट लिमिटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट वी वर ट्राइंग टू अचीव एंड वॉट वी थॉट वुड ब्रिंग अबाउट इम्प्रूवमेंट इन लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड इफ यू गो बैक टू द नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज वहाँ तो हमारी थिंकिंग ये थी कि बस लेबर और कैपिटल दीज कंट्रीज डोंट हैव कैपिटल इफ यू गिव दम कैपिटल you'll see improvement now we understand that development is a much more complex process what determines how you use capital people start talking about policies policies if it institutions institutions if it governance governance if it elite capture one of the advantages of working in a place as a world bank the imf you get exposed to many countries and the one thing i've seen is that the countries that have really transformed themselves they had their own strategy and it was a sustained hard work over many many decades and predictable policies over the period taaki investors jo hain unko pata ho ke hum is framework mein invest kar rahe you can have good or bad policies zahir hai that makes a difference but more important also is to have predictability of policy i would ko pata ki ji this is the frame in which we are going to invest we are going to make returns and it's mostly a country driven process you know development agencies like to use country ownership it's a bit of lip service but fundamentally without the countries driving it the second thing i've learned over this time is the role of international institutions unka role is actually quite limited they can't really shape the process of national development Well, has to come from within the country. And then I would say the third thing I've learned is that macro. IMF's work is macro, and 
basically looking at macro imbalances. Macro jo hai, this is something you want to deal with in a way that it doesn't cause you to spend too much time on it. Thank you.